You stay by the boat, little lady. I mean it. I've got some grown-up stuff to attend to, but I'll come back for you later, okay? You can't just leave me. No, 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 no. No. It's too dangerous for you to come along. I'm not gonna be any safer here. <sighs> Is there a little girl on this planet that will listen to me? All right, stay close. You're with me now. Come on. All right, my friends, welcome to part 3 of my walkthrough for the first episode of Resident Evil Revelations 2. This is an s rank walkthrough where I'm obtaining all the collectibles and in Barry's campaign, finally playing as Barry once again, but in Barry's campaign there are 4 more tower emblems for us to obtain and we also have to collect 6 insect larvae which we can find using only Natalia, our sidekick in Barry's campaign. It's been quite a long time since we got to see Barry in a Resident Evil game. Much less play as him. The only time that you could actually play as Barry would be in the Mercenaries mode in Resident Evil 5 and also in that Resident Evil Gaiden game which I never played myself. But it sure is nice to see Barry next? once again. Natalia. So Natalia's role in this game, My name is Barry. she can detect the enemies, she can also find hidden objects right. and she's also the only one that can collect the insect larvae like I said. Before we move inside the tower there's a gemstone for us to collect so let's go ahead and get that. That's the tower emblem that I was talking about. Make sure you don't miss it. The tower emblems are very well hidden in Barry's campaign. Looks like this At least the three of them are. Ignore the insects and let's just step inside. Some people compared Barry, Barry's and Natalia's relationship kind of like Joel and Ellie's relationship in The Last of Us. I'm not sure how accurate that is, but nonetheless, Natalia does seem like a, a nice character. Monsters? Or maybe that's just my parental instincts kicking in. I'm not a dad, but nonetheless. Okay, let's shoot this guy. You can actually gain a trophy here if you kill two enemies with a single shot using Barry's Magnum, but kind of pointless to waste bullets here. There's a crate behind here. Barry's section is going to be a little bit longer, especially because I have to show you where to encounter the insect larvae, but we'll still be able to obtain S rank, no doubt. Now we're going to take control of Natalia and she's going to demonstrate her powers. So we're just going to sneak. And as you can see, she can point the location of items. There are three items in this area for us to collect. There's another one there. And there's another one in the corner. And then I'm going to take care of the enemies using Barry. I'm going to melee kill them. We can actually dispose of all enemies in this room by sneaking up on them. Wait for this guy to turn around and then go after him and kill him and if you do this then the other two won't be able to detect you which is really crazy considering <laughs> you killed their friend right in front of them but oh well. Here is tower emblem number 6. So two more tower emblems to collect. And I could have picked up this item with Natalia, but oh well. Might as well do it now. And now we're going to sneak up the steps once again. And we're going to stealth kill this guy right here. Then 
there's always going to be one that comes running in when you move to this area so you might as well run here he comes let's just shoot him there we go and now let's just knife him to finish him off I don't think there's another hidden object here so yeah we can move on ahead Let's try and stealth kill this guy as well, who's running against the wall for no good reason. The enemy AI isn't all that great. Man, it sure takes quite a few knife strikes to kill an enemy on survival difficulty. There we go. Now let's keep moving. Oh, this guy was moving fast, but not fast enough. He's dead. Now, once again, we're going to take control of Natalia here. Pick up this crate and move it to the other side. I guess I should have let Barry do this. I mean, <laughs> making the little girl carry the heavy stuff around doesn't seem quite fair, but oh well. We're going to need to use Natalia in this next section, so that's why I'm taking control over her. Yeah. And we're going to make Natalia go around. Just make sure you collect the key here. And let's head inside. With Natalia you can use bricks to kill or stun enemies. Let's try and finish off this one. There we go. If you eat it in the head it will die. Pick up the gunpowder and here we go. Now let's move to the next area. I don't think there was any items to pick up here. Well even if there was... It's not a problem. There is one to pick up. There is an hidden high team behind this shelf right here. So let's take control of Natalia once again. Right here. There we go. And let's keep moving on ahead. We don't need to do any upgrades right now, but we are coming back here in a little bit. And if you missed the tower emblem with Claire, there it is. You can shoot it. I already shot it once, so it would be a waste of a bullet if I shot it again. Just keep running through this section and now you need to be careful in the next area because there's going to be those red blobs on the ground and if you pass too close to them they will explode and deal damage to Barry. So make sure you shoot them. The position they're in might change depending on where you kill them with Claire. In fact you'll notice that certain actions that you do in Claire's campaign affect Barry's campaign. For example, there's a golden custom part for a weapon that you could have destroyed in Claire's campaign if you didn't use the fire trap in the right way. But now with Barry, if you didn't use the fire trap to destroy that golden custom part, then you'll be able to collect it. Let's shoot this guy as well. Oops. Quite nice punch there. Okay, this file we've already read, so there's no point in reading it again. There's something ahead. And we can move on ahead. There's going to be another trap where there's an enemy waiting to ambush you if we went down the other ladder so let's go through this side instead and there is an object here there we go little bit of handgun ammunition give it to Barry and let's keep moving on ahead now we're going to control Natalia once again 
There are three insect larvae to collect in the prison area. But we'll get them a little bit further on. Be careful not to be caught in the trap. You don't want to see poor Natalia get caught in the trap. She's a really nice girl. I'm sure Barry would have preferred to have her as a daughter as opposed to Moira. But oh well. Now that we've set off the power, we can go back to the cell area. Hey, you know what? Let's kill this guy. Why not? It's kind of pointless of me to do this because we won't have to come back here, but... That way it's done. There's two more enemies on the floor here, but we're going to dodge them. There's really no point in fighting them. There we go. And now you'll recognize this area. Remember that there's going to be a tower emblem in the roof if you didn't pick it up with the with Claire. So just look up and you'll find it. And now let's go ahead and collect the first insect larvae. Remember that in order to collect the insect larvae you always need to use Natalia. Barry can't get them. And they're actually very well hidden. They'll appear as small red spots on the screen when you're close to them. See, there? It, there's the first one. We're going to pick up a brick and throw it. Try and smash the bug. That didn't work. Let's try again. Sometimes it takes two tries to get this done. There we go. And that's the first one. And the other two we'll collect in a little bit. Obviously, if you already collected them, then you can skip that part. Remember that time doesn't stop counting, but nonetheless, it really... It really shouldn't be a problem, because even if for some reason I get an A rank in time, as long as I get an A, uh, as long as I get an S rank in accuracy and number of retries, then I'll get an overall of an S rank and it's all good. Plus, it's more important to show you the location of all the collectibles, since a lot of them are very hard to find. In fact, that's the reason why the first part of my walkthrough took so long to to make available. It was due to the fact that I had to. <laughs> Look so much everywhere for those Kafka drawings. That was a pain. Let's take down this guy. And it's a good idea to kill them because we want a clear path when we head back down. And now we're going to head to the control room. There's going to be a treasure chest and we need to use Natalia to open it. Every time you see those blue footprints on the ground, they, they kind of serve as a guide. So if you're getting lost, then just look to the ground and if you see the blue footprints, then that's the direction you need to go through. Let's pull out the lever and let's get ready for a fight here. Now, if you don't want to collect the second insect larvae, you can actually make Natalia run all around the hall to the last cell in the back. But if you want that second insect larvae, then I suggest that you dispose of the enemies. It might be a little bit tricky because there are quite a few. But as long as you've practiced your dodging controls, then you should be fine. Okay, let me dodge to the side here. Don't you hurt Natalia. I just get this parental instinct, I guess, that I just need to protect poor Natalia. It was the same thing with Telly in The Last of Us. Okay, so the second insect larvae is right here. See that red spot? We're going to throw a brick at it. Let's see if I can get it on the first try. No. Let's pick up the brick once again and throw it one more time. There we go. 
So that one's taken care of. And now we're going to use Natalia to clear a path for Barry. And in the process, we're going to go ahead and destroy the third insect larvae. I could have sworn there was another item here, but maybe I got them all. So let's move on ahead. There is a file here. And there's also an item box, now I remember. If you want to read the files, just pause. And now let's turn around. There's another item here, I knew it. Another ruby for us. And as you can see, the blue footprints guide our pet. So let's go. And let's get that that third insect larvae. Remember, there's a brick downstairs, but if you bring a brick with you, then you'll save up some time. Jump back down. And the larvae is on the wall right there. Let's try and smash it. There we go. Nice throw. And now this is very important. When you step into the fire trap room, make sure you pick up the golden customs part before you turn the fire trap around. Otherwise, you'll destroy it and you don't want that. So pick it up and I'll turn it around. And this is actually going to conclude the third part of my walkthrough. In the next part, we're going to conclude the entire episode. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you're ex as excited as I am to play as Barry. Don't forget to participate in the giveaway and I'll see you all later. Take care.